Hey guys, what is up? This is uh, Rod Kakarim and uh, welcome to this uh, video. And this video is a simple question in biology and uh, under genetics. So for some of you who are watching this uh, video for the first time, you can also subscribe to this uh, channel, whatever you'll be watching from. Uh, it might be YouTube or even uh, Facebook. So if you go to Facebook, our page name is just uh, Radka Karim. If you go to uh, YouTube, our channel name is just uh, uh, Radka Karim as well. Of course, you can also find me on uh, uh, TikTok. That's where I do put uh, small clips of uh, the most, you know, um, uh, conceptual uh, short videos. That's where you can get some understanding of... Uh, some of the questions that you may be having challenges on. Um, so in this video, I just want to actually share with you um, specifically on genetics and that is on a, a variation. Okay. So some of us, we do understand that uh, variation, uh, there is two types of uh, variation. There is a continuous variation as well as also discontinuous variation. So if you are a student of biology, you're, you are writing a biology this year, you have to ensure that uh, you understand the differences between uh, discontinuous variation as also well, um, continuous variation and just in general, what is a uh, variation. But anyway, uh, let us uh, look at the question, okay? So the question now says, um, which of the following characteristics uh, is an example of a discontinuous variation in humans. So this is a multiple choice at uh, 2021 biology paper one. So we have A, the height, uh, B, the length of the foot, uh, C, the tongue rolling, and D, weight. Okay, so now if you look at um, the, if you look at uh, the, the, the choices that we have, so we have uh, the height okay we also have uh, the length the length of the foot uh tongue rolling and uh, weight now for you to actually get the question right you just have to understand what is discontinuous variation okay so now uh variation uh when you talk about uh variation in terms of our species more especially uh, human beings we are looking at uh, the differences okay that exist between species of the same kind. For example, if we get a, a, a our fellow human being, let's say we want to compare um, a, a white man maybe to a black man, or maybe you get a dog, uh, a black dog and um, a, a brown dog, and then you kind of uh, compare in terms of the color, for example. So when you look at uh, variation, you are just looking at uh, the differences that exist amongst uh, the species that we are looking at okay so in this example in this example all we are saying is that um, there is a discontinuous variation as well as also a uh, continuous variation so now what is continuous variation okay so continuous variation this is a type of variation um, in which uh, between that exists amongst uh, uh, the individuals or even organisms that uh, where the differences are actually not clear, okay? For instance, most of the people, when you talk about in terms of height, most of them, we are maybe 80% or 90% of the same height. So the differences are too minimal that we cannot even actually uh, take note, for example, to say this one is taller, uh, this one is shorter than this one. But of course, those differences are negligible, okay? They are negligible because we cannot really just differentiate the differences, okay? Um, now, so that, that's in terms of the height. So continuous variation, so uh, the differences that exist there are not clear, okay? So not clear differences is what you call continuous variation. And then also, what about uh, discontinuous variation? So, discontinuous variation simply means uh, simply means that we are looking at uh, the differences that exist between individuals of the same kind 
for humans of the same kind. Now, these differences are very much clear, 100%. Let's say, for example, if I'm a male, okay, um, and someone compares me with uh, a girl, for instance, or a lady, or, yeah, so a man and a lady, for instance. So, you can clearly see that the differences between the two, um, uh, these two individuals, this one is male, this one is female, is that this one doesn't have breast, this one has got some breast, or this one is female, so you can't change uh, being female, or rather you cannot be in between female, or you cannot be in between male. So this continuous variation, this is now where we see a clear cut of the differences that exist amongst the species, okay? Now you have seen some of the, some of the people, uh, some of your friends who knows how to roll the tongue, like they, they are actually rolling the tongue, uh, you, you know what that means, like you, you roll the tongue, okay? So uh, that is just inborn, okay? That's how somebody was born. So even if you can roll the tongue, but, but it's not part of you, okay? Uh, you can just learn how to do that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that um, um, if someone is born, uh, someone is able to just born, uh, it is within their blood, they know how to roll the tongue. Uh, uh, it's different if someone is going to actually learn it, okay? Because when you're born with that, you're just going to be part of, um, uh, you're, you're just going to be, you know, with that, okay, until you die, and no one can change that. Okay, so, and the other part I wanted to give uh, concerning the um, discontinuous variation is, if I was, if, if I was going to do an experiment, and I go to, let's say, for example, to the United States of America, and, for instance, I stay there, like, maybe 10 years plus, okay, Okay, despite how long I'm going to actually stay there, I'm not going to change who is me. Like, I'm not going to be changed from being uh, male into female. No. So, even if you're a girl or a lady, that can go somewhere else. Like, uh, you go to China or you can even go to Russia. Uh, you're still going to be a girl. Okay, nothing about you is going to change. But one particular thing that is going to change, of course, is about... Your, your, the way you look, for instance, you're going to be looking so fresh and just so smooth, for example, because of the environment, because of the weather at that side. And so the weather as an external environmental factor can change the way you look, okay? You start looking like a colored person, start looking like a white person, something like that. So uh, from what I've explained here, we can now simply conclude to say, uh, the height is not the answer, okay? And the length of the foot is not an answer, okay? Um, th there is actually no difference that exists, okay? Between the lengths of a different uh, uh, foot, um, uh, foots of a different uh, people. You just find that if, even if a difference ex do exist, but that difference is too minimal to be actually um, not maybe to be um, to be identified okay so the length the height uh, the tongue rolling so tongue rolling is the answer okay so tongue rolling now what about the weight okay so the weight is not discontinuous variation okay so most of the people they are of the similar weight okay so if you have to go to the hospital and then you kind of step onto the scale You'd find that most of us will be like uh, 65, I mean 65 kg or even in, uh, 70 kg or 70 point something or 80 point something just like that. So you find that those to my point point they are not uh, so much of the difference okay. So those are differences are too minimal to actually uh, have an influence um, or rather just to see that this is really a big uh, difference that exists between one uh, the weight of someone and the weight of yourself so the tongue rolling is a discontinuous variation